There's a Florida spring game going on, and some Florida State fans bought a plane with a banner that said 31-7, to go Knowles, and flew it over their stadium. <laughs> Comments? Uh, I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think that's pretty funny that they'll do that, but that's pretty cool. It's good, good fans. Yeah. <laughs> Two fans right there. You guys didn't chip in, though? No, we didn't chip in. College students. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got money. Got some ramen at the, the house. <laughs> Been there. Been there. Um, Lonnie, uh, talk about, I guess, the execution today. What did you think about it? Was it better than it was the last scrimmage? Um, I think um, I think we started off real slow. You know, we did move the, move the ball, but I don't think we were moving it as well. We started off pretty slow. But uh, once the second time the ones went in, uh, we moved the ball, scored a couple of times. But I think we just started off slow. Then once everyone calmed down and got relaxed, I think we did pretty well. How about the running back seg as a whole? How about their progress this spring? Um, I think I think we're doing pretty good. I think we did a, we had a better scrimmage this this time than last week. Um, you know, Demonte Freeman, he's getting there, he's making plays, and some of the walk-ons are doing things too. And uh, Jermaine, Ty, they're all doing their thing. So I think we're you know doing the same things we did last year. You know, coach rotating us, and he can depend on anyone he wants to go in there to make a play. Justin, what, what kind of stuff we don't get to see? So what kind of stuff have you been working on? Have you been through this for a while now. So. Yeah, they keep us on the, on the side yes. field, you know. <laughs> Uh, too many interviews usually. Um, <laughs> and we've been working on uh, just like being crisp, I guess you could say. Um, it's like the spring kind of helps uh, focus on like the, the fundamentals and getting back to what what got you to be you know, like great and uh, like where where you are. So trying to be, especially from a special standpoint, like they're expecting. You know, so offense is going to make some plays, defense is going to make some plays, and you're going to give up a few. Where special teams needs to be. Um, something you can count on. So just being consistent, I would say. Who's holding for you right now? Uh, Chris Revel, actually our, our third roommate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's uh, holding for for me right now. And uh, yeah, Sean Sean has a practice a little bit, but yeah. Is that disappointing that he came out there? Oh yeah, Sean's a holder first and a punter second. No, I just, I just, that's what I tell him. No, no. Um, Get that quote out. Hey, hey, don't tell him I said that. He's got more hardware. He's, he's a big guy. He's bigger than me. So. No, it's uh, he's doing a good job. Yeah, Chris is doing a really good job. Are you handling the punting this spring, or who, who's handling the punting? Right, who's, who's oh, um, Derek Williams and uh, Parker. What's Parker's last name? Man, and uh. Yeah, Derek and Parker are punting, and uh, I have one like package kind of punt where I like rugby kind of punt that we have in that I do. But other than that, no punting for me. Yeah. You did that once last year. No, sir. You didn't do a rugby. That was Sean. No, sir. Sean did. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Could you get one of you guys or both of you guys talk about the the spring game? They're putting a lot of effort into trying to get a bigger crowd, and I mean, you've heard of like Alabama said ninety thousand people or whatever. I mean, how important, how cool would that be to have? A, um, I think it'd be phenomenal, you know. Um, like um, our fans are gonna come, but um, just if you get the fans there, it's just something about when the fans are there and you run out there, it's a whole another game. So hopefully we can get how many people will get out there and um, go out there and have a good time and put on the show for them. But I think that's a great job. They're trying to get more people to come out there and support us. And I think we'll have a bigger crowd than last year with everyone wanting to see the new, see the new, especially EJ playing quarterback and just see new things and the new players. So I think it's gonna be a big turnout. Yeah, I mean, I think I feel like the town in general is pretty excited about like next fall, so they kind of want to get a preview. So hopefully, we can get as many people as we can out there because it's uh, it's just like Lonnie said, it just changed the whole atmosphere and just uh, I mean, your attitude and focus when you go out there. So it'd be really he nice. Asked, he asked DJ about like guys that people haven't seen before that you guys think they might be excited to see. Um, I think um, I guess um, Nick. Um, Nick, the cornerback number four, Wait, Wait, I think he's going to do pretty good. Then just running back wise, um, Demonte um, Freeman, just to have him go out there and have him put on the show. But just those two, I think they should watch out for. I think. Yeah, Demonte looks does look really good. Um, and then we got. I mean, we've seen Telvin yeah, play, that? but um, mostly on special teams last year. Telvin's really coming out on defense too. So I look forward to seeing him play a lot more. Up on Iris, other question, but the Florida spring game is today, and apparently they haven't drawn as well as they have in the past. How neat would it be for you guys to be able to have a spring game with a bigger attendance than games will have? Would that um, mean a lot to you guys? Um, yeah, it would mean a lot, you know, if we bring more fans in. But just, you know, if we beat Florida, anything is a good thing, I guess. But um, if we can bring in more fans, that's good. If not, hey, we're just going to go out there and do what we're going to do. So. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, it's like, as long as who wins at the end yeah. of the year. <laughs> yeah, like, you got many people at the spring game. Yeah. <laughs> but we won, though. <laughs> so I don't but, think it really matters. Yeah. Last Saturday in November. So <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Let me ask you a question. I work with the fullback, okay, on the broadcast. Yes, sir. You like that belly dive play? Oh, yeah, that's my favorite play. And uh, I kind of know when it's coming because, like, coach signals everything in. So I'm always looking. So when he does it, I mean, I mean, I mean, once he does something like that, I know I'm getting the ball. So it's just. I kind of know I'm getting it before I even get it, yeah, so yeah. it kind of motivates me. Yeah, that's yeah, that's my that's my favorite play. And when I leak out into the flats, that's another play of mine. But the belly, that's my bread and butter. That's my play. <laughs> you ever lobby the coaches? I mean, your your ratio of like one every six times you touch the ball is a touchdown or something like that. I mean, uh -huh. you ever lobby the coaches say, "Hey, give me the ball"? <laughs> no, I never. Just you know, I just sometimes when we want to like say if we're on the one yard line, I just be like run the extra because I'm just blocking. But um, no, I don't. You know, whatever coaches call, I know it's a good decision, so I'm gonna just go up there and do what I gotta do. So. Oh, good job.